Welcome back to the Ghost Key. I am Dre. We are continuing our Leaf Green LP here today. And remember when I told you that there was a rival battle and all that sort of shit going down? Well, my dumbass just remembered where it was. So, before we knock off Brock, we're gonna go take care of that. That is, if Brock here doesn't get all clingy, hey, Brock, stop. Brock, no. Brock, just don't make me. Nope. Stop crying. Nope. Uh-uh. Just making this weird. Don't make me smack the shit out of you. Take your squinty I I I. Alright, anyway, I'm done. So we're gonna go trek all the way back through our wonderful little Viridian forest and all that good shit. And go finally beat our little level 9 rival, and yeah. Needs a good ass kicking. That is if it still if it still works. Maybe hopefully we didn't go too far in the story or some shit and he doesn't show up. But I am going to buy a couple of repels because they're kind of useful in LPs. Um, like I said, I'm going to use the speed up button. Although this would be a case which I would would use it, but I'm not going to just for just for the sake of not using it, and sticking to my guns, and actually, you know. Holding down the fort and shit. But anyway, what we've got for today, like I said, is we're gonna knock out a rival real quick. And then we're gonna take on Brock. And depending on how much time I got left, um, we're gonna go ahead and knock out some of the trainers on our way to Mount Moon. Sounds sounds like a pretty a pretty legit plan. If I do say so myself. Of course it is. But anyway. So. I got nothing to talk about right now. So, you know, we're just walking. Walking. Being all awkward and shit. And, uh, yeah. That's pretty much all I got. Oh, fuck you, Repel. Wow. Didn't even get into the into the menu. That's That's wonderful. Better watch out for these level five caterpies. I mean, they might, they might sweep us. They'll set up on us with string shot and shit, and just go, go nuts. All right. I have to be honest with you. I'm pretty much dreading Mount Moon. I have a feeling it's going to be an incredibly long and arduous episode. I, I hate the caves in this game. I'm not going to lie. These caves, they're just terrible. I just, I just don't like running through all that shit. And I hate having to use Flash. I hate all those worthless HMs and shit you gotta use for like one part of the damn game. And you gotta use a move on a Pokemon and lock away, you know, handicap yourself. Turn that into a three move Pokemon because if you have Flash, you ain't gonna use Flash very much. Anyway, remember this area right here where we got good old fucking Granker? I'm gonna put out front actually because he needs a little bit of experience and I, uh, I didn't even there he is eh, there's wanker yeah fuck you little douche like I love how he's got the balls to just go up there and be like oh man I'm just gonna fuck your shit up I got a Charmander and a Pidgey and I'm gonna fuck your shit up and they're like no kid get the fuck out of course, he leads with the damn bird. Of course. Of course, he leads with the bird. Stella's gonna go, 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 go out there for some Pidgey on Pidgey action. Ha, keen eye, bitch. Can't do that to me. Um, let's just tackle. Probably should quick attack, but. Oh, you missed. Um, one thing if you haven't noticed so far, um,. What to expect kind of going forward. I'm not one of those people who's gonna get, you know, all sorts of pissed off. You know, when a Pokemon dies, I mean, it, you know, whether it's a Nuzlocke or not, I, I'm too self-conscious to throw a fit and put it on the internet. So, you know, if that's what you're hoping for, I'm, I'm sad to say you're probably gonna be pretty disappointed. That's uh, not working out nearly as well as I hoped it would. You know what, maybe we'll... Oh, you're gonna... 
for my attack even more, aren't you? But I'm just gonna sit here and tough it out with Grinker. He needs he needs some levels here, and Charmander ain't that big of a threat right now. I mean, since all he's got is what low uh, not a low kick, but he's got Ember and Scratch over there, ain't really working much. And one sort of not even a debuff. Well, I guess it is a debuff, but not really a setup move. Guess what I was trying to say. Anyway, I have Wanker just lucked out. Now I just stole all his money. And let's let's talk about that. Let's talk about that. You know, I realize how how damn mean this game is. I mean, like you fight people with your Pokemon. Number one, you're pretty much dogfighting in this game. Which don't get me wrong, I think Pokemon's amazing, and everyone should play it and should be used far more ways that it's used now but especially for like education purposes because if you play a game like this you got to do a lot of reading and, and math and a lot of problem solving and shit to get through these sorts of games i mean there's a reason why people my age you know are playing it as long you know as well as as younger kids you know kids that are 10 years and younger which is where i would probably place this game age group wise but you know, it, it, like I said, it, there's a lot to this game. But anyway, let's just think about the whole universe of Pokemon. We just are pretty much dogfighting, you know. Pretty much doing the same shit Michael Vick did. Yeah, I know somebody's going to rage out about that, but oh well. Doing the same sort of shit. And then after we beat someone, we take their money. I mean, it's like, you know, you go up to a kid, it's like, ah, I'm going to freaking beat your ass with my dog and then your dog kicks his cat's ass and then although I'm more of a cat person but anyway you know kicks his cat's ass and then you're like god now give me all your lunch money cuz I just killed your cat I mean like what kinda what kinda fucked up world is this I mean seriously it's it's not very it's not very nice oh wait fuck that repel where are you there you go Of course, I always feel like I waste that shit when there's like a big, big ass open area with no grass. It's like, fuck, there's all those steps wasted. Damn it. She uses shit more efficiently. And I get kind of anal about that. I'm not going to lie. When it comes to stupid stuff like that, I don't know why I think. Like, I always play these games and I never use that shit because I'm like, oh, it's not a huge giant ass patch of grass. And by the time, you know, I get through a giant ass pass, pass? patch of grass and realize, man, I got repels. You're halfway through it. I'm like, fuck it, I'll just save it because, you know, I'm fucking halfway there anyway. So here we are, we're getting back to good old Brock. Hopefully he won't be as needy and clingy as he was last time. And he'll let us he'll let us fight without any awkward moments. Maybe. Or maybe he'll just be incredibly awkward and strange and, and weird. Like one of those people is like that like comes over with all your friends and they're like, oh yeah, this is fun and then they just, you know are awkward the whole goddamn time. But anyway. Alright, let's save this shit, because I'm paranoid about that. I'm not gonna lie. Crazy paranoid. Alright, Brock. So you're here. I'm Brock. What's up, Brock? I got rocks. Holy shit, you got rocks. Oh my god, how am I ever gonna beat you? Oh. Uh. Well, we got two things to take out, Brock, thankfully, and then, obviously, um, what's his nuts, our Bulbasaur here, is gonna, is gonna wreck us later with, with Misty. But we'll see how far we get with, with Minky, however, I would wanna, I'm gonna do something, I should've did this before, I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch out with our Bulbasaur and set shit up. And if worse comes to worse, we can always throw a Pidgey out there and just sand attack the shit out of everything. And hope we don't get hit. Because you know how Pidgeys and shit tend to do that. That's probably what we'll have to freaking lean on later. Because this fight, like, I don't, like, unless obviously you had, like, an overpowered Bulbasaur or Squirrel. This fight's first fight with Brock it was always the most 
uh, horrifying fight because you don't know what the hell to expect and everything's like you know four levels higher than everything you got and you're like oh holy shit you know I just beat my rival at level 9 you come in here Geodude's level 12 you're not really sure what the whole typing thing is when you're first playing this game you're like well, well, well shit and he's got these tough ass Pokemon that's something too for, for like your first gym battle he's got some pretty tough Pokemon that pretty much only go down if you've got the type advantage which obviously in this case we got two that, that have the type advantage, which was also one of the reasons why I wanted to pick up a Mankey just for just for backup and you know the more I use fighting types over the years, the more I kinda tend to like fighting types. It's kind of kind of odd. Let's leech seed you again. Sad. I'm pretty sure this Onyx will knock out our Granker over there, but you know, hopefully the leaves here will give him a little bit of time uh, to hang in there. And that, you know, and our Bulbasaur here will be our backup plan. Because I do want to level things... Yeah, I'm not going to say under level, but I want to keep things kind of generally the same area, obviously. I mean, we have to lean on the bird where the typing dictates, which is always smart. Like, eh, I don't even really play this game and, and try and always get, you know, the right typing. Because the way the typing is now, it's all sorts of freaking Pokemon and shit. You definitely get, oh shit, that was a lot better than I hoped it would be, and I just finished them off. With all, with all the different typings now, it's pretty much impossible to build a team that has the type advantage over everything. And, you know, to new people playing Pokemon, which I'm sure if you're playing Pokemon now, you, you probably, yep, yeah, or you're watching this, you're probably not new to Pokemon. But if you are, a good strategy, or the strategy I always use, is try to just play away. That's why I also build defensively tough teams. But you always try to play away from your weaknesses. It doesn't really matter, you know, too much what you've what you've got, you know, type advantage wise against somebody else. Because you can always whittle them down. And that's also why I use shit like Leech Seed and stuff like that. Because that can get you out of a bind if you don't have a type advantage. You know, you can just go out there and just wear them down. But anyway, now we get what? Flash and Rock Tomb. Ooh, Rock Tomb. Rock Tomb, Rock Tomb, Rock Tomb. That could be fun. Alright. Rock has been rocked. Haha, <laughs> did you see what I did there? Yeah, I had all sorts of great wordplay right up in here. Right in the old noggin. Alright, so we're gonna heal up. And then we'll head on out. And. Take on the trainers, I think. And then, uh, let's see. Then probably stop at Mount Moon or see how far we get through these trainers. Maybe we'll get all the way there, maybe not. I think I'm gonna try to just get all the way there, get all the way to Mount Moon, because Mount Moon is gonna be a long episode anyway, because that place is confusing, not really that confusing as hell. And I just hate these caves in the game. I, I really do. I hate them with a passion. Like I said, I hate having to use something stupid like Flash just to get through shit. What about you? You wanna fight? Oh, you're that guy. You're that guy with the Clefairies. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, running shoes. Woot, woot. Yeah, in case you were wondering where we got those and probably thinking, hey, you dumbass, you forgot them in Palatown. I thought I forgot them in Palatown too with the map. Turns out we were both wrong. So I don't need none of your shit. You hear me? There is a letter attached. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yay, look at that. Now we can look all glitchy and shit. Oh crap. Oh, okay. And this is where we're going to start seeing like some Ekans and, and shit like that. Or we should be seeing that stuff anyway. Should be seeing some Ekans and uh, like Sand Truths and some more Sand Truths and shit. Start, start expanding our, um, our our Pokemon base here. Normally, I would like you know ask in the comments and shit. You know, well, actually, let's retract that statement and start all over with that. What I'm going to do in future games, I'll probably ask you guys through the video. You know what, what you want me to go catch or you know some ideas for to use something. You know. 
I'm okay with you picking really crappy Pokemon. I don't really care. And, and to me, that's that's the fun of it. Trying to use, you know, not the most useful Pokemon in the game, or most useful, or most widely known, most used Pokemon. It's it's a challenge. It's an extra challenge to use, you know, a Dunsparce or some shit all the way through. And I, and I enjoy that challenge, trying to find a way to make it, you know, viable. I, and I like that sort of shit. A lot of people get all pissed off because it's not going to go in there and wreck everything like a T-Tar or something like that, which, whatever. I don't really care. I'm going to make this a little bit, like I said before, a bit of a different experience, you know, than your normal playthrough. Hence why, you know, I picked up a Mankey. I've never seen anyone use a Mankey. If you have, you know, that's awesome. But I've never seen anyone use a Mankey in an LP, which is kind of disappointing, because, you know, like I said, I mean, it, that exposure to those not-so-often-used Pokemon is kind of nice. Because you watch, you know, a lot of LPs like I had, and you start watching people just use the same shit over and over and over, and it's like, oh, look at that. Well, he found the T-Tar and a randomizer. Guess he's going to use it. I keep using T-Tar, man. I keep beating up on that thing. Yeah, it's not one of my favorite, I'm not going to lie, and... Not a bad Pokemon, though. I'm not, I'm not hating on it too much. And 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 in all honesty, I don't hate any particular Pokemon. I just dislike the way some of them look. Let's clear the air right now and get that out of here. Because you know, people are gonna be like, "Oh, you fucking hate Titar." Not really. I just don't really care for it much. It's not one of my favorites. I've used it. It's, it's okay. I mean, it's it's good. It's got good shit, but it's all right. You know, not to say it would be useless. Like I said, pair up one of them with a fucking Zantru and can go to town on shit. But, you know, here I am just rambling and stuff. And another thing, if you're into stats, honestly, if you play through this game with a Pokemon that's got 400 base stats or above, it's perfectly viable. And you'd be surprised what Pokemon are 400 and above. Obviously, Mankey's one of them. I think Mankey's like 430 or 450 or something like that not terrible. People just shit on him because he's, you know, not as good as Blaziken, which don't get me wrong, I fucking love Blaziken. Blaziken's amazing. One of my favorites. One of my favorites. But, you know, once again, you know, you want to use something different, use a Mankey. Mankeys are fun. Although I won't use a bee drill or anything like that. I think, once again, those are under 400 stat-wise. If I remember right, they're like 380 or 330 or something like that. Something fucking weird. Something unfortunately terrible and like I said before I really don't care for those beginning Pokemon all that much those those beginning bugs those kind of kind of are a bit of a downer it's like those stepping stone Pokemon that they just give you and you're like oh yeah you're gonna not like it later because it sucks so you're gonna have to replace it with something because you ain't gonna hold up in the Elite Four oh shit Monster Joey over here with his Rattata Also, one of the reasons why I like, well, why I decided to go with Mankey this time around is because he's, he's, his typing, his fighting type, he's getting fucking rocked, but his fighting type really is useful with the large amount of Raditas and Raticates in normal Pokemon. I don't know if you noticed this, of course, normal is one of the, you know, larger, larger type pools, but normal type is pretty common throughout the course of the game. Which is kind of, kind of forces you, and I kind of don't like that sometimes. Kind of forces you into using certain types just to kind of make it easier on yourself. You know, just to get through. But then again, you know, the way the way everything is now. I really want to know what I want to use on this thing. The way things are now, you know, you really you have Pokemon that have such wide mood pools. You know, like Hitmonchan. Hitmonchan is one of my favorites, and people don't use him for God knows what reason. Cause he's amazing. You know, and he can cover a lot of different types and, and give you good coverage as like that uh, kind of a, a, what do you want to call it, like a flex position Pokemon where he doesn't really have a job other than just come in and sweep up a few things and give you just general type coverage, which is what I really like having in my group. Usually I build a large, a large, uh, a large defensive type, po you know, defensive wall with most of my Pokemon and then you know, add in like a flex sweeper or something. You know, it doesn't really have to be like a monotype sweeper like a 
Kadabra or something, and that's something too. Right? Kadabras are good. Don't get me wrong, but unfortunately they just have such a narrow scope of things they can sweep, even though they can just straight overpower some shit with their special attack and psychic, which this is what I pretty much did when I played red and blue back in the day. But of course now everyone's like, fucking Abra and Kadabra and shit, and I'm like, yep, yeah, I've used them before. Ugh, man, I'm talking too much. I gotta get something to drink. Shit. Quick, gonna. One thing I really don't like. I hate when they have, like, Pokemon that you really don't get much. Much to. Like Kakuna. I mean, I understand Kakuna. You don't have it for a long time. I mean, it's only, like, four or five levels or some shit like that. But. They really don't have any, they just can't really do much in battle. I mean, they can go out there and harden and string shot, although, I mean, unless you're, you know, setting them up there, I'm not even sure if Kakuna specifically come in a string shot, but, you know, if you're setting up there with a string shot and harden, I mean, I don't, I don't know what else you got. You know, to, to go out there and start sweeping the floor with, now that you've string shot at everything. Why is Kuku or Metapod on its face? It's like the fucker just like fell over and just laying there. It's like they 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 decided to go in there. They put like the model in the little sprite or whatever, and it was all oriented wrong. And they're like, fucking just leave it. No no one will notice that we fucked that up. I'm gonna do the bug guy first. Probably could have left this up, or uh, left this off in like a grinding, grinding session in between, uh, in between episodes. But fuck it, it'll be fine. It'll be all right. Give you something to watch, right? Yeah. Let me ran ramble for a while. Randall, Randall, randling all over the fucking place. Let you know how I really feel. I love you. Yeah, you. That's right, baby. All the time. Yeah, I don't really don't know where I was going with that. Not at all. Oh, fallen Metapod. How did that Gus not kill it in one go? Done like dinner. You know, gonna eat, eat your little Caterpie there. Oh, I don't like the look of this girl. Ah, sneak by you, bitch. Yeah, our little. Oh god. I thought he had me there. I thought he had me! Alright. I will look ahead before the next episode and see if we can see if we really want to catch a Geodude. See if there's anything else out there. Unfortunately, like I was saying, I'm trying to pick Pokemon that are not not that popular. Geodude isn't one, although it's common as fuck. I mean, it's like in 90% of the freaking games. You're a bug catcher, aren't you? No, you're just some little punk who's like, hey, there's a freaking bug center over there. Ah, I can heal up and rest and be chill. Ah, what does this girl got? I'm afraid to see what she's got. Eek, did you touch me? I touched something. I don't know if that was you. Jigglypuff. Oh, this is our introduction to Jigglypuff. Now let me get on the subject of Jigglypuff. Didn't that little fucker get the fairy typing? I could be wrong, but why did that thing get the fairy typing? It is a... Oh, God. Jigglypuff, when you, when you evolve that fucker all the way up to whatever the hell it's called, I can't remember right now. That thing is such a frickin' wall. Just a big giant sack of HP. You know, it's it's tough to kill. And of course, you know, when it starts doing stupid shit like seeing, it can just fuck your shit up. Not necessarily be destructive, but just irritate the shit out of you. Why did that fucker now get a fairy typing? I think it's Jigglypuff. No Clefairy did. I think I think Jigglypuff did too. I'm probably wrong. And you know, I probably don't remember all that shit anyway. I mean, who fucking does, right? 
course, there's probably some asshole out there who's like, no, it's this. And no, I don't call myself like a Pokemon champion or any shit like that. I got a terrible memory, obviously, because I can't even fucking remember to go get the goddamn map from a sister who, you know, who's there in every damn game I've ever played. Well, every Pokemon game that I've ever played. Oh, shit. How is that quick attack wrecking my house so much? Yeah, I think that crit. Douchebag. Goddamn. Don't think he ain't got no defense, but... Goddamn. Oh, what did her end? What do I want to do? What do I want to do? What do I want to do? Okay, I'm gonna live dangerously. Try. We do have the speed, but we ain't gonna rock him. And he's gonna growl at us. Make us sad. Now we're just gonna try little kicking him. Wow, that's even worse. I have no idea what the power is on that, do I? Well, let's see if we get lucky with a crit karate chop. Oh, speak of the devil. Something too. I wonder if they'll ever, ever add that into the game. It's like a crit, a crit stat. I, I wonder if they'd ever add something like that. Cause I think that would be. Oh, don't poison fight me, you bastard! You bastard! Take that. Prick. Haha, <laughs> literally. Oh, you see what I did there? Prick poison me. Haha. Uh -huh. Anyway. I wonder if they'll ever add like a crit stat in the game. I think that would be me interesting. Like a, I don't know, like a crit percentage calculator or something like that. Just to make it, just to make it a little more, uh, a little more interesting. So you can see, you can actually see, uh, it's a good thing I did not like, huh? Oh, you can actually see how your how your percentage is, because that's one of those things that are just like, oh yeah, you just get a magical crit. And sometimes it's a little fishy how that shit shows up, don't you think? But anyway. Alright, we are finally done with those trainers, I think. I may go back before the next episode and check to see if I missed any. Either way, it probably won't be any grinding. I don't think we really need it, because I think, what, the badge only takes us up to 20 or some shit. So we kind of got to run from a lot of shit coming up here um anyway don't forget to save your shit that's always important anyhow i am done that is it for me today one word of advice for you though don't forget oh oh and i should probably say this before before i run away from you guys here I should probably say this you should subscribe or leave a comment or like it but However, if you've gotten this far on YouTube, you probably know how to do all that shit, and you probably stopped the video before I even got here. So, anyway, that's it for me. Remember, pants are optional. <laughs>